might look like giant pharmaceutical medical pills, but they are in fact an artistic tribute to the unknown drug addict. Found on any couch mooching off their friends, these sculptural masterpieces are a tribute to drugs. Located dangerously close to Wellington's university buildings, this place is referred to as Prescription Mile, even though it's clearly a street. To most of you, Catherine Mansfield was a literary whore, but to me, she is the original heavily tattooed metal chick. She is covered in questionable wordy tattoos that represent bogans across our country. Catman is the original heavily tattooed metal chick, keeping the bogan spirit alive. Uh, this is a tribute to the dyslexic architect. These Corinthian columns, terrain, I mean retrain, damn it dyslexia, these columns retain the glory from a bygone era, a tribute to failed romance. In a bitter case of irony, the creator of these enormous speech detritus was the paramour to our dyslexic architect. Yes, they both have creations on street corners. Unfortunately, one of them enjoyed the company of street corner ladies a little too much. The artist poured her anger into this piece. And if you look closely, you can see some of her ex-partner's tools. By looking even closer, you can clearly make out his nuts. A fitting tribute to drama queens. This creation really speaks to me. I believe the symbols on the back of the spinning top can be translated by taking a photo of said symbols and entering it into a Google search. And they are translated the message that says, fuck you, I've made my point twice. This is not only a sculpture, but also a deterrent. This man would roam around Wellington Kidnapping dogs. Dog napping, if you will. His widespread dog napping was only discovered due to the number of GPS fitted dogs that were at his address. As a deterrent, dog napping became illegal in Wellington. And as a scarier deterrent, they encased the dog napper in grass. These two wonderful pieces hide a dark secret. Yes, they are Braille, invented by Helen Keller, who was deaf. She was also a worshipper of Satan. These wonderful pieces, curated by HK, hold secret gifts that when used correctly, will summon Satan. And in the centre of the CBD business district, I don't think there could be a more appropriate tribute to the big S, as business people prefer to call their dark master.